my name is Kathleen Doherty. I teach uh, at Madison West High School. I teach a class on China, on Latin America, um, modern U.S. history from World War II to the present, and then also um, a class on social issues. I document what we are going to do in class that day, and included in that listing might be um, several different websites that we would use or go to during that time, so students who are absent can go back to um, that day and figure out what we were doing. And then I also put their homework on there so that they know what um, their assignment is for that evening um, or, you know, a longer term one. And then there's also an extra resource. So if a student's really interested in that particular um, subject or topic that we talked about that day or that couple days, then I always add extra um, links to articles or websites that I think might be useful. I do encourage parents to sign up for the blog, to follow the blog, so I sometimes will get um, comments from parents or questions from parents about, you know, what we're looking at or what we're studying, um, and I like that. Um, other th another part to that um, blog for the US 11 class is something called Course Documents, which is a second page within the blog. And on that page, broken down by unit, are the handouts, any handouts that I need to give students. So that if they've lost an assignment, if they've lost a handout, if they were absent, they can use um, the ones that I upload to the blog um, on that space. It's also nice because when they study for their finals, all their work is, all the, the work from the semester is in that one uh, place. A different example of how I use WordPress in a different class, in the China class, for example, um, is we do uh, current events in, in, in China. Um, I put up an example um, current event for students to take a look at and it has four or five different things that the student would consider. Um, for example, um, you know, the first part of their um, current events post might be, you know, what the topic is or what the event is. The second one might be, what are the key questions that need to get addressed or thought about when considering this current event. Um, they also put um, in links for articles to different current events, stories, um, and they do those posts twice a semester, and then um, we go back and um, students use those at the end of the semester in looking at how current events in China um, could have happened and, and looking at different periods in history, um, in, in Chinese history of, um, you know, what's the connection between China's history and its current events. I started it really as a tool for myself to some degree to organize all of the websites, to organize all of the tools online that I found um, to use with my students. And, you know, the first semester that I taught the class, you know, it was fairly skeletal. I mean, I, I got my um, posts up on a daily basis, um, but, the ba it, but what's been nice is that as I find things, you know, the following semester, I can add it to that um, post. So I can edit it, I can add to it, I can make changes to it. You know, as we look at um, the Edwin, uh, Edward Snowden case, um, being able to, you know, as I'm reading good articles about that online today, saying, oh, okay, I'm going to use these when I'm teaching about the Pentagon Papers. And so being able to go back onto the, the, you know, the post or the lesson that I had about the Pentagon Papers and being able to link that there so I know where it is. Um, that's been really helpful. And, and so I think if you get the idea that you're going to start it up, set it up in a very simple way, and then know that that infrastructure is going to be there for you to be able to add tools and resources to, that, you know, that's kind of the way to get started without it, you know, being so overwhelming. Um, but students love the fact that, you know, they, you know, get an email reminding them, basically because it just alerts them when there's a new post up, to go check the blog and see what's up there. Students like and appreciate the extra resources that I give them, um, so that, if they are interested in something, they can go back and look at it. Um, students also, when I, when I think about the current events um, piece where they're doing the posting, they're doing the writing and the interacting, you know, students have appreciated both the opportunity to put their own thoughts and ideas on it, and then also for them to be able to um, go back to it later, kind of for future reference. Um, the, the China class, you know, used those current event postings, you know, over the whole course of the semester and for their final project, and they loved having that there um, for them to, to look at and investigate um, even after we initially introduced it.